Hey, this is Matt. Welcome to the whiteboard. In this video, we will visualize log2. If you've created a binary search tree that has a nice balanced structure, you can search it pretty quickly. Left, right, right, voila, you're done. With just a few steps, it looks pretty efficient. But how efficient exactly? As efficient as binary search? There is a mathematical way to compare the two. First, let's quantify binary search. In binary search, you start with a sorted array, pick a pivot, eliminate the irrelevant half, then repeat the process with the remaining half. Pick a pivot, keep going until you find what you're searching for. Now let's simplify this process so we can do easy math. First, we'll ignore the pivot and just drop half, then look at the remaining half, then drop half of that, then half of that, and so on until we only have one item left. So we started with 16 items, then have that amount, four times until a single item was left. Okay, let's check the math on this equation. First, let's distribute the exponent to both parts of the fraction. 1 to the 4th is just 1, of course, while 2 to the 4th is 16. So it looks like 1 is 1. Cool. Now let's generalize. We want to find out how many steps it takes for n items to be reduced to 1. When n is 16, it takes 4 steps. What does it take for n items? That is, given any n, how many steps will it take? To solve for x, let's distribute the exponent, get rid of the 1, then multiply both sides by 2 to the x, which leaves this, which is another way of saying this. And since we're programming and it's always log 2, we can drop the 2. So log 16 is 4 because 2 to the 4th is 16. And log 64 is 6 because 2 to the 6th is 64. And log 256 is 8 because 2 to the 8th is 256. With binary search, an array of 256 items would take 8 steps to find a search value. That's binary search. What about a binary search tree? We know this. What is this? Search in binary search trees always starts at the top and goes to the right or left. And every time it does, it eliminates roughly half the items. Until the search hones in on one item. The math is familiar. Multiply n by 1 half, then again, then again, you can see where this is going. Search steps are equal, which makes sense, because the trick of honing in by halves is shared by binary search and binary search trees. The trick of successive division is actually quite widespread. It can be found in quicksort, too. If you remember, quicksort takes a random pivot from an unsorted array, then runs through the array, putting each item in a lesser or greater array, then repeats the process with the new arrays, which don't need to be exactly half the size of the original array, but on average are about half. And the approximate halving process doesn't stop until the greater and lesser arrays are just one element each. Let's look at this process from the perspective of that one element. At each level, it is compared to the pivot and pushed into a new array. It 
takes four steps for n items to be reduced to one. So each item takes log n steps before it finds its place. And since there are n items, the total number of steps in a quick sort is n times log n. n times log n is the best you can do for comparison sorts like quick sort, merge sort, and heap sort.